Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. Real D, you in here with that fing man. Shot, I'm from there, St. Louis. Christian, but then she said, on live outside, I changed demeanor. Not 34 came with Jim Fox Lion and then a Christina. Real deal, just main chop. You bought him up right now, four stack. This is where I go down there, this side of town. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys fucking got your after school projects here, huh? Yeah, after school projects right here. On a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the highest homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. This morning, St. Louis police are trying to identify and find five teens. They are wanted for questioning in last weekend's mass shooting downtown. Another weekend of violence raises concerns about downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon until 3 o'clock Sunday morning, there were 639 calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area. Yeah. Walked on like his GTA, bro. Helicopter back around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, LA, Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 toting automatic weapons. Today, we tap in with St. Louis locals making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine on my mirrors. The remains of what got booked is coming in so quickly. Business men calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we head to entrepreneur Heavy G's block. He's known in the city for selling exotic snacks and the world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? $25. This cost $25? Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers on how to make St. Louis a more peaceful place. Make it fresh, holy shit. I swear to God, on my life, I'm not buying $25 worth of lemonade. Why are you saying, who's buying $25? You're not making a profit off of that. How are you? We're here in the outskirts of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see what they think about it. So St. Louis has been ranked as the most dangerous city in America for the second year in a row. Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like exactly. it, nor do I agree with it. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have taken over. Are you a mother? I am. And you feel concerned raising your kids in St. Louis? Where I've raised my kids in the county. An area like this. What is it like raising kids in St. Louis? It's kind of scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message to the mayor, what would you say? Start locking people up left and right. I try to find more opportunity for these kids to just to train their mind, just to keep them on track with things. I am all about support for the for the youth. And I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I was growing up, it was a lot more things to do. In the last two years, 5% of the population of St. Louis has left. Why do you think that is? More opportunity. Yes. We're, we're about to meet with a, a gangster rap crew that has a ton of guns on them. How do you reach those guys? You got to give them a better upbringing. I mean, you got to give them something to look forward to. That's kids looking at them like they're, they're heroes, you know? Once we focus on the youth, then we will be able to make the, a difference in the, the future as a whole. Stay focused, stay positive, and try to keep keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing, and I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> getting a little crazy you gotta protect yourself out there so the sponsor of today's video is bulletproof zone they're helping us keep protected if you're somebody hey, in a risky job get your money, bro. Amazon driver family to stay safe cold dead hell a nigga playing get off with some shit 30 guns a night exotic shit i wake up picking bleach six whips in the back five niggas get up
you look at places like this and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look over here. Imagine growing up in absolute destruction. How did things get to this? What happened? You just can tell that we are tiptoeing on Trenchville. Tell the people what to expect from this area. What goes down? A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they, they younger. So I'm a little bit more eager to do the crimes. Kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless. That's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something. They just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gun shots. It's crazy, man. That ain't things. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Okay. Good to meet you, What's man. What's the word? Tell This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar. Every single song he makes, this is the guy. Tell the people wow, bro. where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe. AKA the dipset for real. 5500 for real, for real. We got some more coming down, god damn me. This feels shit. slightly sketchy. Like, it feels like things could pop off at any moment in a place That's like St. Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake it real. <laughs> Yeah, everybody trying to be I'm a What do you love about St. Louis? I love everything about St. Louis. I ain't gonna That's just like just have a bulletproof vest on. Like, like, I don't want to leave my city. I love everything about my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Is that a toothbrush? Cool. Clean them off? So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying I think to do? Louis? Get signed for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Be another nearly like I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you blow up, what are your plans? So let's just say you got ten million dollars in the bank right now. What's your plan? Four five million going dead on my rap, and the other million I'm gonna get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. There. One really important thing as an American that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that in this city, bro? I feel like at a very young age, bro. Parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns. Like you should be able to at any age to teach your kid how to use a gun. Like that's what they should be teaching in school. Mm -hmm. Not dumb ass shit that we not gonna see when we get up out of here, you know? What percent of people around here you think have a gun? Realistically, 90% everybody got a gun. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Tell me about how you grew up. What was your childhood like? How'd you get to where you are now? Regular childhood and on some St. Louis shit. I grew up with my granny for real on some little cool shit. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit after that shit. The nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old for real. So, so you had no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12? Yeah, right? for real. If we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better? That boy definitely got a 20 IQ. You're really starting the heart of the community for I real. I ain't gonna lie. change in one. When he asked him the $10 million question, like what would you with 10 million? He... He's. I I see what he's trying. What he was trying to say, like five million gonna go to him, and then the rest he's going split in his community. I get what he's trying to do, but this nigga's capping. If he had ten million dollars in the bank, he's not helping. He might get, he might help his 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 his, his click out, but other you than need that, to be need to actually be hands on with shit. Like get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like for thrill seeking. Kids are bored and they're shit trying to do rich. things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like motherfucker really want that rush. You got to think like motherfucker sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as. F Motherfucker, like, I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm going to need some help breaking down some St. Louis slang. I just heard tapper. Help me use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word, tap? What's you know? the word, tap? Oh, me. Red deer, I'm God. You about to tap some shit today? I'm God. Wait, what you, Tommy tap? Which one? G tap? Tommy tap? Which one? G tap. Oh, my mama. <laughs> nigga, we got G tap in this motherfucker. Nigga, on God. Hey. Red. Real deal. My soul. What's, What's the, the word? word? I hear people say, God damn me. God damn me. On oh, God. God damn me. On oh, God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Was that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed a strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Them little monsters. Oh, these niggas are these these little trench babies. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. So we talked to people, citizens of St. Louis before we came here. And a lot of them said they're getting scared to live in the city. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's cap, cap, bro. Cause don't nothing happen to nobody that just stand out the way. No. So basically you gotta have your hands dirty to have things happen. Nah, cause you could be a bystander and get hit. If I wanted like to buy a gun, how easy would it be to find one and how much do I gotta pay? It's Ooh, easy right You can buy this right motherfucker now. right now, full stack. 
<laughs> What's the average age first a kid touch their first gun around here? Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it. When my grandma passed away, like I told you, like, that was a big thing on, on my list. Like, I had to graduate. That We finna go to the little place where I shot shit. Right, they, come on, tell. Got, got diamonds sitting on the west so ass. My bitch they send for Ali base, they say fish, she praying for me. Big boy 458 CP went deep in this 3.0 T. New boy fit, get up the street, we can't tap you come. I ain't gonna lie. I'm watching all the he low key spitting, bro. What is his, his name? Gangland. First game. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. When was that, like yeah. 1960s? Late 80s, beginning Late 80s. of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see. Like having a graduate, you don't think he graduated? No, I, oh God. Certified Trapper did that to me during our interview where he fake go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, you see some shit or what? No, that's my little brother is back. <laughs> oh, okay, you looked like you were, you looked like you were about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. When I see all the, the numbers of deaths, it makes me really sad to see because there's, what I see is a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now, all right, now, all right. Look at my Gliz, look at bro Gliz, and they both came from smacking. We hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the traffic. Put dude ass on VLTP, comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't her from when last we seen, got hitting this shit no more. Look, they cover up their ears. Max speeds on the flyway, make them think it's task, they watch they mirrors. Max suppress, don't hurry, bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60, think I'm fearless. That tough guy act the sickness, luckily Drizzy or Krim chasing shit. Booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. He's hitting a freestyle car. by the no, way, chat. some stupid, they say fast and free. This, this gonna release no Soon. USB won't see it for you hurry. Taz pick me up, show different times, say what you was doing during. I don't know nothing. I can't even spell my name if y'all was curious. Little bro snatched scat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stirring. Oh God, my mama. Sheesh. Okay, don't so hype one that thing up, bro. That was who is decent. Ass? That's what we call unmarked Everybody police cars. Black trucks. Yeah. They be in every Black unmarked trucks. cars, like <laughs> the same type of car you rode in, just you said, 10. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The f***ing real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What think do you think about that? You think bro, so? Drill music is just for a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? No. Yeah. The what the fuck? The motherfucker who don't get no and they really trying to be they self for real. People can listen to music and it's up to you what you want to do with it. I can listen Cap. to your song, I can go Yo, with I can listen to your song, I can go on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice of what oh, we man. do once we listen to the song. Oh, man. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when you, you pass sucks. when you put the gun like right here? There's some uh, Cheddar Bob ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That fucking tap, main tap, we out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like growing up in that type of situation. You reap what you sow, like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street, your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit business guy oh. too. If you move those street Look at the mirror. into entrepreneurship i think you're gonna have a safer more sustainable lifestyle next how you been, folks, how you been? heavy g an entrepreneur in st louis who's quite a character we'll see you there we're here with the st louis legend heavy g a big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship what do you got cooking up over here my food truck right here selling a uh, rotel that's that's some little st louis like some nachos type shit and we sell my world famous drink whippy this is how the whippy look i just i've been doing this shit for one year as of last month so this is my one year anniversary it looked like drink but, but it ain't what you think, think. It, this is my newest flavor i want you to try this mm. far i know that's okay. good Thank how'd you invent this you know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did. Uh -huh. Going to get some drinking shit. And I started selling the sodas for $20. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying those some Fagos. And the stock actually went up 10% within the 30 days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know? So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it. Because you know, the Fago sodas are $2. Hey, so I'm like, I gotta it, make man. all that money back that I missed. So I'm making mine 25, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the Rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> it's fire. This is our culture. This is what we do. We eat, we eat rotel, take bitches to the hotel, and make sure you get it out. He tried to rhyme. 
This the best exotic store in the Midwest. St. Louis, Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This the $5 snack table right here. This for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the Skittles without the shell. Crazy. This what they selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Cause I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. $25? Yes, for regular lemonade. That's crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere else. It's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand. Stand too. Okay. I'm shout out to Sweet Cheeks, okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, it's right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight what through it. We gotta go get this food, saying, man. Bro. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. And I guarantee all it really is is lemonade and soda. All you gotta do is mix lemonade and like probably like Sprite together and you're gonna get his taste. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with the same Paul. Oh my god, oh, yeah. out of all these, you seen this man? Compound. Go no, 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 no. That's, that's a bit, that's like buying a period. Oh god. Yeah, god. Hey, yeah. Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. I know, wait, wait, you gotta get that thing. Don't be fooled. This is where I go down there, this side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Are we really good? <laughs> The next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas oh, station just got guys, their life taken away. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two. Like we were always being competition. Back I do remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There there's there's a lot of people that live so much of their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment oh, is the control. American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you're over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun, and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good as far as all these niggas on that, so you everybody can legally have a gun. And So the playing field is equal, at least. Yeah, damn right. But a lot of good. <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. A gun shop. I'm gonna have to get this intersection tattooed on me. That shit is just so crazy, bro. Every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. A lot of niggas done died down here. A lot of niggas done tried down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous Damn to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie, the ops probably didn't roll past us since we've been out here. But they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But. You know there's helicopters here that chase cars? Yes! Yeah. Really? Yesterday. You probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? This vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now, going so fast it, ra it outran the chopper. Yeah, people will really be in a car running away from the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I said, no! <laughs> Good news, I didn't get hit. Good news for you. Oh, you have a chance to win this it. autograph. Bulletproof bro, vest. Per oh my fucking There's a t-shirt on the site. I got all these new cool shirts. They look like this. Yeah, bro. That's that shit you were talking about. You purchase the shirt, you have a chance to win this. Let the odds be in your favor. And now back to the video. Hey, stop doing them, dog. You know I got people. Like Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at, arm out the window, flagging them down. <laughs> Kevin Bush. Police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. No, they don't. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? Entering your teens. 13. He got my dumb ass. He almost got my shit. Then I realized that. Like when you told me he was trolling, 
I yeah. usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the f***ing Nikes for a reason. You on your feet, you want to raise down? Dude, I'm a, I got a pretty quick 40 yards. Oh, when I get through it's fun. It's badass. All right, folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep them motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself. You won't need no help. Stay true to you. All right, folks. We'll see you next week. Bro, that's Peace. so generic, bro. Everyone be like, be yourself. That's how you be successful. Be yourself. That's how you become successful. Be yourself. Bro, who's seen speed leak his shit? Who's seen speed, uh...